Hi, this is Tim Allen for QSBNlive.com, and we're going to go through the events that are upcoming for a really big celebration in Phillipsburg called the Flint Creek Valley Days. And it's a, a great celebration, a great time to get out and have some fun. Even with all the smoke around, it's really not terrible. It's, it's a hassle, but it's not terrible. But it's still a great opportunity to go out and have a lot of fun in the city of Phillipsburg. So starting actually today, the... Uh, Granite County Museum, and I'm kind of scrolling through some of my events here. You can find all the events on qspnlive.com or on on uh, on our website, or you can find them on our Facebook page, or you can find them on the Granite County Events page. They're all there, uh, singled out, so you can see where to go, when they start, and how to take care of getting uh, involved in them. So the the Granite County Museum has a garage sale that starts today. It'll run through the weekend, and you can only imagine. Uh, all the cool stuff that uh, you would find in a garage sale. Uh, normally, this thing's got them from a museum, so I can only imagine what kind of cool stuff there must be there. Uh, tonight also, uh, at 5 o'clock, 5 to 8, at the Phillipsburg Brewery, there will be a pint night for the canine rescue group. So if you go out and have a few drinks, it's a great place to do it. Uh, some, of your, some of the money from your drinks will go to the canine rescue group. So tomorrow is really when the Flint Creek Valley Days start gearing up. There's two events, both of those put on by the Opera House Theater Group. Um, they have uh, two plays, one at 2 p.m., which is Getting Sarah Married, uh, another one at 7 p.m., which is The Tin Woman. So you can see right here next to me, uh, we have their website and their phone number, so you can call and get tickets. You'll want to be involved in that. So then on Saturday, everything really starts to ramp up at uh, 8 a.m. at Granite High School, the Rotary Club of Phillipsburg will have a pancake breakfast. They're a tremendously beneficial organization to the city of Phillipsburg. They give thousands and thousands of dollars to various community organizations and programs. They run the concert each summer that helps raise a lot of that money. Uh, and that's all at Winninghoff Park. But uh, this time they'll be at Granite High School having a pancake breakfast, and I'm sure that money will go toward those ventures as well. Our next thing at 8 a.m. is when they'll start taking the entries and whatnot uh, is the Flint Creek Valley Days Run. So you want to make sure to get out there for that. Go get yourself. So if you're running, you may not want to have cakes and sausage. But if you're going to watch, cakes and sausage would be a great thing to have from the Rotary Breakfast. But the uh, runners will start out at uh, the, the uh, south end of town at uh, Town Park. They will uh, take their sign-ups, get all that stuff organized, and then they have a couple of different runs for people who want to run and walk different distances. So we encourage you to get out to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Then at uh, noon, that's really the big event for the day. On Saturday is the Flint Creek Valley Days Parade. Uh, that'll be along Broadway. It'll start at the west end, head toward the east end. Uh, so get yourself a spot and uh, camp down and, and enjoy some of those floats and groups that will come through. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, to see all that. Um, at 1 p.m. out at the Springs, uh, the Phillipsburg Brewing Company will be hosting Aaron Williams with some live events. And so we want to make sure that you get out to that. If you want to see some great music, Aaron's a good performer. And also at 1.30, if you're looking for some history, the Royal Mine Stamp Mill will be doing a demonstration of that piece of equipment. And I, I can just tell you from having been around it a couple of times, it is a great piece of equipment. It is a lot of fun to watch something that old come back to life and to see how they used to extract ore from the minerals, uh, both here in Phillipsburg and up at uh, the Royal Mine near Maxville. Um, just a, a lot of good stuff there uh, and a lot of good history. And the guys who have done that uh, will all be out there, and we want to make sure you give them credit. So please take a chance to, to stop out there. Now, the uh, Opera House Theater Group, will be doing a special performance at 2 p.m. on Saturday. They'll be doing a vaudeville show, and that is got to be good. I mean, vaudeville is always a lot of fun, a lot of corny jokes, a lot of fun laughter, uh, usually a little body, and uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, also, uh, at 2 p.m., they'll be doing grade school tours. So if you're a former school person, a former student here from Granite County and, and Granite High School and that whole school system, or if you just want to see uh, an old-fashioned school that's still there, a uh, great opportunity to get out and see some of those tours. So after the parade and after everything's kind of slowing down a little bit in the evening, 
we have a kitty fair at Winninghoff Park. So it's going to be an opportunity where kids are going to get a chance to get out. They're going to get treats. They're going to get, uh, I think there's going to be some awards for uh, some of the stuff that went on during the parade. And uh, just a great time of fun uh, to get out and do that and have a, a good time with your kids. Uh, 7 p.m., the Opera House Theater Group is back again with Getting Sarah Married, their play. And then um, at, not, at 9 p.m., they're going to have a street dance in Phillipsburg with the Hankers. And uh, we're going to be putting up, uh, courtesy of the Hankers, they've given us permission to run a couple of their videos. So we want to make sure that you get a chance to look at those videos and uh, kind of get a taste for what they're doing. I've, I've listened to them a little bit. They're really good, uh, really slick men. I think it'll be a lot of fun for Flick Rick Valley days. Um, let's see here. So that is kind of the end of day one. Then we move into day two. And uh, really, it gets going at 10 a.m. with, I think, what a lot of people come for is the Flint Creek Valley Days uh, Classic Car Show. Broadway will essentially be closed off. And you're going to have the opportunity to see, I think there's, I know there's dozens, maybe there's more than 100. I think I, somebody in my head is say, saying 150 cars. I'm not sure how many cars, but I've seen it. There's a ton of cars out there. The people who bring their cars bring some incredible vehicles. Uh, some of them throwbacks, some of them modified stuff. Just great vehicles that uh, are just a great chance to walk up and down the street and see some really cool stuff. And we'd encourage you to get out for that. Um, at 1 p.m., out at the uh, Springs, we have Christy Hayes going to be showing up uh, at the Springs for the Phillipsburg Brewing Company. Uh, she'll be providing music. Uh, the White Front Bar Horseshoe Tournament will be taking place also at 1 p.m. in their beer garden. Not exactly sure where that beer garden is going to be, but if you go to the White Front earlier in the day, they can tell you exactly where that's going to be and get you registered if you're uh, one of those people who likes to pitch the horseshoes. Uh, 4 p.m., the Opera House Theater Group again will be uh, having a play, The Tin Woman. They'll be doing that one again, and uh, that will kind of close out uh, all the doings for Flint Creek Valley Days. So we want to make sure that you take a chance to get out there. We know it's a little hazy. We know it's a little smoky, but don't use that as an excuse to miss this event. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, we just encourage you to get out there, enjoy the days, uh, support the, the, the businesses that are out there supporting this, and uh, especially groups like the Rotary Club and the fire departments and those guys, uh, make sure you get out there and, and let them know that you appreciate what they do and what they provide for the community. Uh, it's a great opportunity. It's one of those things that happens every year in, in Phillipsburg. This year, I believe the, the parade and even the Kitties Parade, I'm not positive, are kind of themed around the sesquicentennial. Um, but we want to, you know, I, I don't know that for sure, so don't take that as gospel. Uh, if we get information on that again, Check our website, qsbnlive.com. Catch us on Facebook at QSBN Live, or look at the Granite County Events Facebook group, and um, all that should be there. So uh, we encourage you to go out. Have a great weekend. Uh, this report is brought to you by Huffman Grocery, Granite County Insurance, and the Wagon Wheel Motel and Cafe. Reporting for qsbnlive.com, this is Tim Allen. Have a great weekend, everybody.